Good morning. The time it is 20 past 11, which now seems quite late compared to the time that we had to get up, which was about half past nine. And now that it seems even later on the fact that we got in at about four o'clock last night, having seen the Centenaire, Sang Noir and two Enzos down at the marina, and I had to edit the video blog so that it was live in time for 7 p.m. So I've had about three hours sleep. So first stop is Spa, where we're gonna pick up a massive monster energy drink and um, try and catch up with a few cars from last night so that we can get some photos in a day for Instagram. And uh, then we're gonna just chill outside the casino, try not to get too much of a sweat on, as I'm in all in black. This is my travel outfit and uh, I do not want to be sitting next to some poor dude on the plane but smelling Porsche. So uh, we're gonna do our best to not move at all today so that we can get, so that we can be socially accepted on our plane later. Which, my plane's at half past nine which will mean I'm be getting a bus at around seven o'clock in the evening. It gives me pretty much a full day to try and find some cars and, and Dimmy is off slightly earlier. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. There were some cool cars, but yesterday it dragged. We were out for a good 12, maybe to 15 hours. And uh, all of the cars that we saw probably look good in 15 minutes, but when you then, put it into 15 hours, it was quite a long time. So, uh, straight down to the casino where yesterday we had some poor combos, some Rolls Royces, 360, things like that. And hopefully, hopefully, we get to see something cool today. It is tired, but I definitely remember talking about the yellow G-Wagon. I'm not sure whether I put it in yesterday's video blog. If I did, here it is. If I didn't, here it is again. Mansory G-Wagon, Bumblebee spec, and then a Mansory SLS, pretty crazy. Pit stop one of the day done, pit stop two is gonna find some shade and then sit there all day. But I'm sure we'll see some supercars, I'm sure, it's a Friday. And my theory yesterday was, Thursdays was the day of rest for the uh, people of Monaco, so. Friday is the day where everything kicks off. So if I say that, then I'm gonna tempt fate and it will happen.
I'm starting to regret my Friday evening flight, having seen the nice Aventador LP640 with the SV front front lost my front body kit, lost my trail of thought there. And um, the sun's gone in. We've had a spot of rain as well, so we're just going to go for a wander whilst we've got the license to walk around and not really get a sweat on in the sun. See what we can find. reunited with one of my favourite cars that I filmed eight years ago, no, eight, six years ago, the Mansory Stallone. So I can't wait to get this starting up and uh, accelerating because he seems like he's in the mood. Uh, we heard it long before we saw it. So, animal. from Casino Square one last time before saying goodbye to Monaco probably for 2014 um, it's been awesome I will uh, try and summarize everything that's happened uh, maybe on the bus or at the airport if I find somewhere quiet but I'm heading up back up to the hotel now to get my suitcase and uh, try and catch a coach to the airport and then I'm just gonna try and chill out Remember, I've had three hours sleep, so uh, today's been a struggle, but I think the supercars have uh, pulled me through. We've had uh, Mansory Stallone being reunited with uh, that car is amazing, and then hearing it, hearing the V12 and the exhaust system is amazing, uh, the uh, Mansory SLS, and lots of other stuff. I can't really put my finger on uh, what we've seen today because I literally, my mind isn't function, functioning properly. I'm going to get squashed here. Oh. So, up to the hotel, onto the coach, to the airport, back to the UK, back to London, back to my Army Tricks Audi R8, which I cannot wait about. Yes! So, got about 45 minutes to wait until the bus, and I'm in this cool little, oh yeah, 
loop de loop thing, chilling, stinking the hotel out with my shoes off, but my feet are hurting so much and I'm so tired. So I'm just um, checking out what's going on on Instagram, 458. Oh, and a Rolls Royce drop head. Nice. This is one of the main roads in Monaco, out, out of Monaco. So you do get some cool stuff. So yeah, we're just chilling out. Not really doing too much. Not much filming can be done because it is raining. So Monaco obviously knew that I was leaving and uh, all the cars will be away hopefully this evening. So we're not going to miss anything. Lots of noises, lots of people, rush hour. So I'm getting the earlier bus so that I have more chance of getting to the airport on time. Woohoo! Arrive at the bus stop. There's literally no seats and they're really quite sharp, but there's, they're, they're obviously, to deter people from sitting down. Um, my bum's too big. This is, this is as good as it's gonna get. It's now quarter to seven, 6.45. The second bus is supposed to have come. The bus has come every quarter past and quarter to, so 6.15 and 6.45. It's now 6.45 and I've been here nearly an hour and not one bus has come, or one bus that is going to take me to the airport, which I need. Seven o'clock and I'm on my bus. Looks like I'm going to make my flight. Hour and 15 minutes late. Sitting on the left hand side. So that I can see all the cars coming the other way. Sensible. 